Lucifer Season 6 concluded the popular series on Netflix, but fans are curious if there will be a continuation, possibly in the form of Lucifer Season 7. Season 6 picks up after the dramatic cliffhanger in Season 5, where Lucifer Morningstar, portrayed by Tom Ellis, assumes the role of God. However, his plans to become the Almighty are put on hold. When his daughter from the future, Rory Morningstar, played by Brianna Hildebrand, arrives through time travel. Rory is the child of Lucifer and Chloe Decker, played by Lauren German, and she confronts her father about his mysterious disappearance. In this video, we delve into the exciting possibilities of Lucifer Season 7. Will Netflix release more episodes? We also explore what Tom Ellis' DC future looks like and ask the burning question, are there any Lucifer spin-offs in development? Whether the devil or any of his friends could pop up elsewhere in the future. The fate of Lucifer and his human friends remains uncertain, but fans are eager to see if the story will continue in the future. Before we delve into Season 7, let's take a quick look at the previous seasons. Lucifer aired initially on Fox for three seasons, but due to average ratings, it was cancelled in 2017. However, fans expressed a strong desire to save the show, leading Netflix to step in and purchase the rights, granting Lucifer a 10-episode fourth season on their platform. Initially intended as the final season, Netflix ordered a fifth season, which was split into two parts comprising 16 episodes and streamed in late 2020 and early 2021. The production of Lucifer Season 6 took place during the COVID-19 pandemic, and it was eventually released on September 10, 2021. This final season consisted of 10 episodes and included several nods to the series' early days. Additionally, a special animated episode was featured, continuing the popular gimmick seen in Season 5, such as the black-and-white film noir and musical episodes. Season 6 of Lucifer resolved the question of whether Lucifer would fully become God and provided an emotional conclusion to his love story with Chloe Decker. So the main question is, will there be a seventh season of Lucifer, or has the show concluded with its sixth season? But guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you press the bell icon for the upcoming exciting video updates. During a Screen Rant interview in September 2022, Joe Henderson and Ildi Modrovich, the showrunners of Lucifer, discussed the possibility of reviving the Netflix series. While acknowledging that Season 6 provided a definitive ending, Henderson expressed optimism about the potential for a future return. He mentioned that they had a great experience working on the show and hoped to see it back at some point in the future. I mean, I hope so. We loved making the show, and we loved working with these people. I think hopefully, at some point, we can find a way to come back or at least revisit or do something. It was such a great time. It's such a great experience, and we love these people, so never say never. Season 6 of Lucifer was originally promoted as the show's final season, just like Season 5, which was also billed as a farewell but later got renewed for a sixth and final season. The official announcement from Netflix in June 2020 emphasized Season 6 as the final, final season, leaving the possibility of a Season 7 uncertain. If Season 7 were to happen, a significant question revolves around lead star Tom Ellis' involvement. Contract negotiations between Ellis and Warner Brothers Television faced challenges in April 2020, with the actor reportedly rejecting the studio's initial offer. Despite having a deal in place for Season 6, Ellis' return was essential to fulfilling his contract. Eventually, both parties reached an agreement, allowing Ellis to reprise his role in Season 6, which premiered on Netflix on September 13, 2022. As of now, the future of the series beyond Season 6 remains unknown. Despite enthusiastic comments from the showrunners, Season 6 delivered emotional moments and a fitting conclusion for the titular character, leaving fans wondering if a continuation could undermine the achievements of the previous season. However, the show has proven that its world offers ample storytelling opportunities, and a potential Season 7 could reunite the characters for another thrilling mission to save the world. Alternatively, Lucifer might explore other mediums to continue his story. There is excitement about the possibility of musicals or animation, which would allow fans to experience the characters in fresh ways without disrupting the foundation laid in the final season. Okay, with that, let's take a glimpse at the cast and plot of Season 7 if it comes to fruition. The TV series Lucifer revolves around Lucifer Morningstar, the former ruler of Hell, who decides to take a break from his underworld duties and settles in Los Angeles. Opting to run a nightclub, he becomes entangled in people's lives and starts helping the LAPD solve cases. While battling his own inner struggles, 
Lucifer forms connections with the people he cares about and must confront his past. Season 7 of Lucifer, a thrilling mix of mystery, drama, and humor, explores the consequences of the devil's presence in a community, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. About the cast, Season 7 of Lucifer sees the return of its main cast from the previous season. Tom Ellis reprises his role as Lucifer Morningstar, a fallen angel who manages a nightclub in Los Angeles and assists in solving crimes. Lauren German plays Detective Chloe Decker, Lucifer's LAPD colleague and close friend. D.B. Woodside returns as Aminadiel, Lucifer's brother who struggles with his newfound mortality. Rachel Harris portrays Dr. Linda Martin, Lucifer's therapist and trusted ally. Kevin Alejandro plays Detective Dan Espinoza, Chloe's ex-husband and Lucifer's occasional adversary. Leslie Ann Brandt makes a comeback as Mazikeen, Lucifer's demon companion, and Amy Garcia returns as Ella Lopez, another LAPD colleague. Scarlett Estevez, who appears as Trixie Espinoza, the daughter of Chloe and Dan, who shares a special bond with Lucifer. Together, this ensemble cast embarks on more thrilling adventures in the show's seventh season. Are there any Lucifer spin-offs in development? One year after the end of the Tom Ellis-led show, and with a new rendition of the character debuting in The Sandman, played by Gwendolyn Christie, the series has regained popularity, primarily due to unjust parallels between the two versions of The Lord of Hell. While past spin-offs have been explored, Lucifer showrunner Joe Henderson has addressed whether they are still viable when the series concludes. Henderson explained to TV Line, There are always talks about spin-offs. I mean, honestly, especially early on, yes, and then one of the big things we focused on making sure we told as much story with all of our characters, knowing this was our one shot as possible, and then finishing the season and then discussing any spin-offs after. Especially once we made Maze a bounty hunter, all that stuff we fantasy created that show in our heads. There was a bunch of times, especially seasons 2, 3, and 4, when we saw all of the potential of these characters. Then we sort of refocused on how do we make sure that we tell every story we can with them with the time we have. And then if we are ever lucky to have future spin-offs, we will have to be clever enough to find a new story. After a lengthy wait, Neil Gaiman finally brought The Sandman to life on Netflix. But well before that, Tom Ellis had already portrayed Lucifer in a fantasy series inspired directly by The Sandman graphic novels. While Lucifer's plot and characters were loosely based on Gaiman's original creation, it essentially became its own spin-off. When The Sandman's cast list was announced, comparisons and complaints emerged due to the connection with Lucifer. Lucifer's revival occurred through a collaboration between Netflix and Warner Brothers Discovery, giving fans three additional seasons and a proper conclusion to the series. Although the original season of Lucifer was the most watched, it received mixed critical reviews. However, the show's review scores significantly improved from its second season onward and remained positive until its final episodes. It remains to be seen if Warner Brothers Discovery will invest further in Lucifer, especially now that The Sandman has become a standalone series. While the chances of seeing Ellis' rendition of the wicked character or any of the characters from his universe return to the big screen are currently slim, any popular IP can always make a comeback. There is always the possibility that the world of Lucifer will return in some fashion after Warner Brothers Discovery gets its house in order and decides where its future efforts will be focused. Thank <laughs> you.